Hi, this is Mitch Mitchell with TT Mitchell Consulting Incorporated, or Mitch's blog, depending on where you're seeing this today. I decided I wanted to talk, this is going to be brief, at least I expect it to be brief, about why people need to make decisions. But first, I want to share something with you. This is, I knew I was going to get it wrong, this is my book it's called Embrace the Lead. You know, I published this book back in 2003, and I got all these copies and I wanted to do this because some people have wondered if I've actually written a book or whether I just put it out in a PDF or something. And I actually did write this book and I published it. And it's just something I have. And I printed it myself. So this is before the days where people could get the fancy covers. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. And of course, on my website, you can see the book if you want to take a look at it. And this is something from the book. And it basically talks about why people have to make decisions. And I tell the story in the book about this guy who came to talk to us. His name was John Paliza. And he was a physician. And he basically went from that and he decided to run kind of a physician consulting business. And he had an office of different people there in, the, in his office. And he had something that he was trying to decide on. And he had done all the research on it. And he had everything that he needed. And basically, he sat on it for two weeks trying to figure out what to do. He just had no idea. And he was worried, you know, will I make the wrong decision? What will happen? And one day, one of the people came in to his office and asked him, well, have you decided what to do yet? He says, no, I'm not really sure. I still haven't come to it. She says, just do something already. And he thought about it and he realized, well, yeah, you, can, you can't progress and move forward if you don't do something. And he thought about it some and he realized, you know what? I did as much research as I could and I've come up with two ideas that could work. And if the first one doesn't work, I can totally change it to the other one or I can modify it. But I have to do something because until I take a step forward, I don't know what there is to correct. I just don't know. So he did do something and it turned out to be the right decision. He did have to modify a few things, but things did end up working. You know, a lot of us get caught up in what is called analysis paralysis and we take in so much information sometimes and we just don't do anything with it. I'm the same way. There's information that I get and sometimes I just don't act and I will take my time. But I don't wait all that long before I decide I'm either going to do it and I'm not going to, or I'm not going to do it. If I'm deciding I'm not going to do it, then it's done. It's totally gone. If I'm going to do it, one day I'm going to sit down and it's just going to get done. Now, how has that affected me? Well, you know, back in 2003, I started my newsletter with no idea of how to do a newsletter or anything else. I just decided to write one. I colored it up a little bit and I sent it out. By today's standards, it was kind of Bush League the way it looked, but the content was the content. The thing is that I had the courage to put it out there and I sent it to a few people and I got, well, I got some pretty strange comments on it. People didn't like the way it looked, thought it should be justified a different way, all sorts of kind of stuff. And the thing is, no one actually said anything about the content. And that made me think, well, you know what, at least the content passed. And so, you know, people aren't always going to like everything that you do, but you learn from at least putting something out there. That's really, you know, one of my points today. And it is a leadership point because a lot of leaders think about these things all the time and they don't know what to do. Do I do this or whatever? And they will sit on things for weeks, months, years, and there's nothing you can do until you actually take an action. That's all I have to say. So with that in mind, I hope you liked the video. Leave me a comment down below. And remember, all my links are going to be down below. This will end up in a blog post. So Either leave a comment down below or go to the blog post where I'll probably say a little bit more about it. It's been great talking to you. You take care. Oh, that's right. And I am Mitch. Bye.